To randomly generate dates between two dates, you need to use the run between function. So I'm going to click on this cell and do equals to run between. When I see it highlighted in blue, I'm going to hit tab to select it. It needs two arguments, the bottom number and then the top number. Now, since we are generating the dates, on the bottom number, I'm going to use the date function. Tab to select it. As you can see, the date function needs the year, the months, and the day. So for the year, I'm going to type the year for the lower date, 2025. The months for the lower date is January. And then the day is first. So I'm going to close the bracket. So the first date here is sitting on the bottom argument of the run between function. So I'm going to hit comma. Now for the top date, we're going to use again the date function. Tab. The year is going to be the year for the second date, 2025, comma. The month is going to be December, and then comma, and the day is going to be set first. So I'm going to close my bracket. Now, this first date here is our bottom number, and then the second date here is our top number. So I'm going to close my bracket. Now, when I control enter, you can see we are getting the serial number of the date. So I'm going to copy my formula down. You can see all these are serial number of the dates. So when I come to the home tab, then from the number group, I'm going to click on this. Then we're going to change the formatting to either short date or long date. I'm going to choose the short date. So I'm going to come to it and click. And you can see these are now our random dates. Now the run between function is actually a volatile function. Each and every time you do anything in Excel, it will recalculate. Or if you hit the F9 key, you can see each and every time I hit the F9 key, the function recalculates and give us different random dates. Now if you don't want that, you can highlight it. Then you come to the edge of your range. When your cursor changes to a move cursor, then you hold down the right click, drag it anywhere within your worksheet, place it back, then you leave your hand from the right click. These options will pop up. The third one is saying copy as values only. You simply need to click that one. These are no longer function. These are values only. So each and every time you hit the F9 key, it will no longer recalculate.